Hey Sparks, what's up? And hello to my new subscribers. It's Montina here. And my mission with this channel is to inspire, educate, and share information that will help you thrive in life and thrive in business. So if that sounds good to you, subscribe. So in this video today, I'm gonna talk about the $5 fallacy. Now I wrote this down and I gotta really even think about <laughs> what I was gonna talk about. And um, for me, everything goes back to and relates to business. I'm sure that's what I was gonna talk about. The $5 fallacy, I was added to a group recently and it was just all black owned business owners. Oh, I remember exactly what it was. And um, someone in the group was like, man, if we each donated $5, we basically, it was like 3,000 people in the group, we'd have over a million dollars, and of course, maybe more, I don't know. Um, and then I saw someone else post this on my Facebook page, and I'm actually gonna post it here so you see it in the video, but guys, part of the, the challenge with that mindset, I, I only see black people talk about it and do it, and I'm talking about it specifically American descendants of slaves, we're like, oh, five dollars. If everybody on my Facebook page donated five dollars to me, I'd have X number of dollars. Number one, why should I give you something for nothing anyway? Okay, and number two, it's really a fallacy to think that way when you have certifications out here and government contracts out here and opportunities out here where there are five million dollar opportunities. Plus, if you have like, 20,000 of us give $5, you have 20,000 ideas, 20,000 people to get input from, what are you gonna do? I mean, $5 is such a small amount. If you gave me $5 and said, hey, I wanna contribute something to your business, I'd give it back to you, plus five. I say, here, take 10. So I think that is just such a fallacy that I see, I wanted to address it and say, look, guys, a lot of you, when I'm coming in here and I'm talking about business, partner up. Find somebody you trust. You know, get an attorney. You know, y'all, we talk about all this. I don't trust people. Well, that's why contracts are there. They're in place to keep people honest, okay? So I wouldn't even do business without having a contract with somebody talking about they my partner. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So I just wanted to talk about that. Got to get you on this $5 investment thing and we're going to be rich. It doesn't work that way. You know, sometimes it works that way for people in a lottery. And I recently had started playing the lottery a little bit. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen, and I was playing this online thing. I was winning too. Um, the first time I won, I was running around my house, called my friend. I said, girl, I went to the lottery. She said, oh my God, my car was screaming. She said, how much? She whispered it. I said, $37.50. She said, girl, but it was off a quarter. Um, but I hit literally like nine out of 10 times I played. But it, I mean, I was like, I ain't doing this. Um, but yes, you can hit a million based off that $5, but I'm talking about stop getting out of this group economics thing where we're gonna all contribute $5 to win. We gotta move beyond that within our community and that's what I wanted to talk about. It's just a fallacy, okay? So if you have any questions, let me know, you know, leave a comment below, book some time with me and let me help you, you know, understanding certifications for leverage so you can build and scale a real business. Follow my business credit. I don't talk about it as much, I will hear I kind of create a course, but I'm like, I don't, I just, it's one of the things where y'all with me, I really don't want to create stuff to sell stuff to you. Um, my really core mission is to grow and scale my own business and not build it off $500 courses. You know, I'd rather invest time in $50,000 um, opportunities, which we have in my company. But if you have questions, let me know. Otherwise I'll see you in the next video. Peace.